Wow, what's happening, folks? I hope your free comic book day is a little more or less gloomy than mine. But, um, a little update on the boxes. They're sold out, and I, I feel bad because I didn't expect near as many people to want a box, and to the, like, 40-ish people that I had to apologize to and turn down, I would like to apologize again. I'm sorry. Um, like, I'll do this again, and I will be better prepared, and I will make it up to you. I overwhelmed, and I appreciate everybody's that, you know, responded. A lot of you that did respond don't really do the mystery box thing because, you know, you're, you're like me, I guess. But I'm just doing it really to, I don't know, be an asshole. <laughs> but I just want to show people that you can get or you can sell a mystery box and actually put value in it and still, you know, profit and you don't have to hose people and then in turn you don't have to get hosed to buy a box, you know. I get that they're fun to open the mystery behind them. I get it. So, you know, hopefully I can help some people out. All the proceeds from this will go towards, we'll do it again. Because my thing is, I enjoy the hunt. Like, that's my shit. And I am blessed enough to live in an area where people either don't know what they have or they don't care. So I can get pretty good deals on books. And the hunt to me is more than the actual owning the books. So... I don't mind, you know, hunting. It, it's fun to me. I don't know. It's, it's like a rush. It's an addiction. But, I mean, I am overwhelmed with the amount of support, and I appreciate it. I did not, I really didn't expect that many people to respond, and I really do, honestly and truly feel bad that I had to turn so many people away. And I could just, like, say fuck it and throw more boxes together, but I'm not... Like, that wouldn't be fair to the ratio and the people that bought the boxes and expect them to be, you know, like a one in five hit of a really, really big book. But I think everybody will be impressed with what's in their boxes regardless Hopefully, anyways. And if, you know, if there's something in there you don't like, I hope that there is enough value behind what's in there that you can either sell it, trade it, do whatever to get a book that you do like. I at least put the value in there to where you can do that. So, take advantage. I mean, you know, take advantage of it. Enjoy it. If you don't, you know, nobody's going to look down on you for flipping the book if you, if you paid for it. You know what I'm saying? So, in the end, I hope that everybody at least gets a book that they want out of it. Whether they have to sell something that I gave them in the box to get that. Maybe it'll help make it a little easier to do that. Whatever. That's, you know, that to me is a win. So, I don't, I didn't go into this thinking, well, I'm just going to send people, like, maybe one person will win a good book and everybody else is going to get shit that they can't do anything with. I, hopefully, every book and every box you can do something with. That's, that's my goal, so... 
if everybody did it that way, then I wouldn't have a problem with, you know, the whole mystery box thing, but not everybody can be honest, I guess. So, anyways, again, it's, if I was brief with you today, it is, I'm sorry, it's just, I did not expect to turn around or to turn out or what have you, it's, and it's free comic book day, so I've been running shop to shop, and, you know, it's been a really hectic day, but, I have a fucking haul, I mean, I had one LCS open up at 6 a.m. this morning for a sidewalk sale, and basically all that was out there, everything that was outside was a dollar, and it's just back stock that he's never even went through, he just, just back stock. So, that was fun. That was fucking amazing. Uh, I like it, it's amazing some of the shit that people just don't know they have, especially when it's a shop. And the shop's been open for like 30 plus years. And he just stockpiles shit and throws it out once a year on a sidewalk sale for a buck a piece it's mind blowing like I find a lot of good books really cheap and it puzzles me why they're so expensive if I find them all the time but even this shit like that he had out blows my fucking mind like how do you not know that's in your back stock like what are you doing but he doesn't I mean he he saw what he had when everybody was checking out. You know, he'd be like, oh, I didn't know I had that one. I didn't know I had that one. But he's so cool about it. He doesn't care. He's just like, you know, good picking. You got it for a dollar. But on the other hand, he's had it in the back stock 10 plus years. He doesn't care. He's getting a buck for something he wasn't getting a buck for before. It just blows my fucking mind. But I guess that's the collector in me that... Also, the, the scumbag dealer type person, but, you know, kudos to him for, you know, sticking to his guns and not like, well, that's more than a dollar. You know, people do that, and it's fucked up, but he's never done that, and he's never done me wrong, so. Kudos to my LCS owner. You know who you are. Uh, another shop opened up at 9. They had a similar sidewalk sale, but I mean, that shop hasn't been around for 30 plus years, so not near as impressive, but I got a few books there. Um, let me see, where else did I go? No McKay's. I didn't, like, you know, I didn't, you don't have to go to McKay's on free comic book day whenever you go shop in town's having a fucking sale, so. But, Look what time it is. My case doesn't close for another two hours. Damn, do you see? Like, fuck, I've been at this shit 13 hours and I'm ready to just do more. So we're gonna go do more. I, right now, the, my entire trunk looks like a comic book drug dealer's trunk because it's just packed fucking rim, but I got plenty of room in the back seat, so let's see what we can do. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody, and if I wasn't able to get you a box this time, don't give up. I think that next time I will be more prepared and have more boxes. I'm not going to say I'm going to have one for every single person, but I'll have more than 10 and I'll make it up to you somehow because I do genuinely feel bad. I didn't expect the response that I got and I am humbled and I appreciate it. Each and every one of you. So, yeah. I do this for you guys. Keep me hunting and I will continue to hunt you guys some books that sounds like fun to me let's do it so y'all have a great night i hope everybody got 
the comics they were looking for today. Look forward to seeing some haul videos, actual haul videos, and not just, you know, some of the other shit. But, some of the other shit's decent. I'm not saying everybody sucks. <laughs> just some of you. And they probably already know who they are because I've said it before. But, y'all have a great night. And happy free comic book day. And if you have economics and comics, I saw on his Instagram it is his birthday. I don't know if he watches this or if he will watch this, but happy birthday, sir. Everybody shoot him a happy birthday. He does a lot of good for us in the community, and he's a good dude, despite what some people think. I don't know him that well, but what I know, fucking stand-up guy, so... Wish that guy a happy birthday. And who better to have a birthday on, you know, May the 4th be with you and free comic book day than that fucking guy. So, happy birthday and y'all have a great night. I'm going to McKay's to see if I can find some more books. Peace.